Got that right. Picture is worth a thousand words. Mark Lohr joining us right now. We're talking about Art City Designs, where you take old photographs, black and whites, and then you colorize, right? Tell me, tell me how that worked. How did you get, how did you get started doing this? Well, first off, there was, a, there was a documentary Peter Jackson had a couple years ago where he took old World War I uh, black and white film, and he hand-colored them, you know, strip by strip, and he put it together and just completely changed the way that we saw World War yeah. One. We always thought of it as just black and white. Sure. And so I thought, you know, I work at a museum, I work in history, so I work around black and white images all the time. I thought, well, I bet this would really change the way people saw St. Louis. And it really changed the way I saw St. Louis. And uh, just, and I love postcards. And so I thought about, you know, what if I can just recreate postcard art? You know, so that, that's what it is, you know, postcards. What's the process? How do you, how do, you do it? Well, I see them in color. I look at a black and white image and I see it in color as it will be. And so it's really just sort of like paint by number at that point. So you look at it and you know what colors are supposed to be there. So you're not researching to know like... Oh, no, no. I, you know, there, there's definitely a research process, especially for signs. I love coloring gotcha. signs. And like in the slideshow, there's, there's going to be some signs that you'll see like from a, like an oil company. Right. And I found, a, I found an example of that on Google Images. And so I just duplicate that. You knew but but if it's something that I can't find something, I just sort of, you know what I would think it would be most appropriate. I look at the shadows. The shadows tell me what it's going to be. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. And, and these pictures really do just pop once you put oh, that color on. Oh, definitely, definitely. And like lately, I've started adding like uh, Photoshop's got this sort of a, a new feature where you can like Photoshop in a sky. And so I used to have white backgrounds, but then you Photoshop that sky and it completely changes the setting. You can get an evening feel to it. Just, yeah. like, just like old postcards. Yeah, some of, some of those cloud pictures like we've seen on there, Really, the contrast is just amazing. Definitely, definitely. It makes them really come alive. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I started in 2019, and, uh, and it, it went from being a, like a, a four or five day process where I would get carpal tunnel and really bad cramps <laughs> yeah. to a point where I can, get, I can get them out in about an hour to about four hours now. <laughs> wow. Because I started seeing them, you know. If people want some of these, can they, uh, do you sell them? Do you, are they available to anybody? I have sales occasionally. My biggest sale of the year is the Cherokee Print Bazaar, which I've done a couple years in a row, and it's always a big hit. Um, that's where I bring all of my prints. Yeah. But I'm, I think I'm planning for my first sale to be sometime in summer. I'll, I'll announce it on Facebook or Instagram. When gotcha. It happens. Well, it's Arch City Designs, and if people want to follow you, they can do so on, on the socials, right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Arch City History, yeah. There you go. Check it out, man. He's got good work there. Those are beautiful photos, man. Thank you. Well done. Hey, keep it right here. We got more coming your way. It's the 9 a.m. Fox 2.